Chapter Five, MS Word, Text Editing and Formatting, Copying and Moving the Text. Copying the text means repeating the text in the document without having to retype and moving the text means changing the location of the text in the document. The steps to copy or move the text are: select the text you want to copy or move. Click on the copy option to copy or cut option to move in the clipboard group in the home tab. Move the cursor to the place where you want to place the text. Click on the paste option in the clipboard group. Navigation through a word document. The table given below shows the shortcut keys to navigate through a document. Up arrow, down arrow, left arrow. And right arrow keys to go one character up, down, left, and right respectively. Control plus right arrow key to go to the next word. Control plus left arrow key to go to the previous word. Home key to go to the beginning of the sentence. End to go to the end of the line. Control plus home. To go to the beginning of the document, Control plus end to go to the end of the document, Control plus page up to go to the previous page, Control plus page down to go to the next page. Understanding the undo and redo commands. Undo command. This command is used to undo, reverse the last action that is revert back to the previous stage. Redo command. This command is used to reverse the undo action. These commands are located on the title bar of the MS Word window. Find and replace features. Find. In a document, you may want to search for a specific character. Word or a phrase. Instead of going through the complete document, you can use the find feature. The find feature can be used to search for all the occurrences of a given word or phrase. The steps to find a text in the document are: on the Home tab in the Editing group, click on the Find button. The navigation pane appears to the left of the document. Type the text that you want to search in the navigation pane. As you type, the same text will be highlighted in the document. Now scroll the document to see all the results. Replace. The replace feature can be used to replace an existing text with a new text. The steps to replace a text are: on the Home tab in the Editing group, click on the Replace button. The Find and Replace dialog box appears. In the Find What box, type the text that you want to search for and replace. In the Replace With box, type the replacement text. Click on Find Next and then do one of the following. To replace the highlighted text, click on Replace. To replace all instances of that text in your document, click on Replace All. To skip this instance of the text and proceed to the next instance, click on Find Next. Spelling and grammar check. While typing the text, if any word is misspelled, a red wavy line will appear under it, and if there is any grammatical mistake, a green wavy line will appear under it. Using the spelling check tool, all the spellings and grammatical mistakes that may have occurred while typing can be rectified and corrected. The steps to use spelling checking tool are: Method one, using context menu, right-click on the misspelled word, a red wavy line appears under it. In the context menu, select the suitable suggestion. Method two, using Review tab. Click on the Review tab in the Proofing group. 
click on the spelling and grammar button in the spelling pane choose the correct suggestion word and click on the change button or click on change all to replace it in the entire document or click on the ignore once button if you want to continue with the existing spelling or if you want to add your word to the dictionary for further reference click on add button once the entire document has been checked a confirmation dialog box appears click on the okay button using thesaurus this is an interesting tool in ms word that helps you to improve your vocabulary by providing a list of synonyms for any word the steps to use thesaurus are select the word in the document for which you want to find the synonyms on the review tab in the proofing group click on the thesaurus button the thesaurus pane appears and displays a list of synonyms for the selected word select the suitable word click on the drop down button and select the insert option what is formatting formatting text refers to changing the text appearance to make it attractive by changing its alignment style font size and font color there are various formatting options available on the home tab let's learn some of these font settings a font is the shape or look of the text on the computer we can change its type color size and style bold italics underline etc you need to select the text you want to format and go to the font group in home tab font click on the font drop down arrow and select the desired font font size select the font size from the font size drop down or use increase font size and decrease font size buttons font color click on the font color button drop down and select the desired color font style click on the bold italic underline or text shadow buttons as required highlighting the text you can give a colored background to the text using the text highlighting color tool the steps to give a color background to the text are select the text on the home tab in the font group click on the drop down arrow present on the text highlighting color button a color grid appears select the required color changing keys when you type in the document you type the first letter of the first word in upper case of a sentence in ms word you can type or convert the sentence into five cases these are following sentence case it converts the first letter of the first word of the sentence in upper case this is the default case in ms word lower case it converts all the letters into the lower case upper case it converts all the letters into the upper case capitalize each word it converts first letter of each word of the sentence into the upper case toggle case it reverses the cases of all the letters of a sentence the steps to use change case features are select the text whose case you want to change on the home tab in the font group click on the change case list box the change case list appears select the required option observe the changes in the document subscript and superscript subscript this tool is used to put the selected text just below the normal line of the text superscript this tool is used to put the selected text just above the normal line of the text The steps to apply subscript to the text are select the text and on the home tab in the font group click on the subscript or superscript tool as required